here is a case of a 2 cm stone rirs in obese is normal but uh, 2 cm when it is present residual stones is a problem relook is a problem anesthesia is a problem whereas pcnl is invasive so in that context uh, as we are doing for last 6 months fans this is reasonably big stone this patient is 105 kg 5 to height roughly coming 43 bmi see procedure is same but thing is it is not stented how will you assess whether you can pass the 10 french sheet by doing a rotoscopy which was straight forward then access sheet has gone easily into the kidney and stone is nicely seen like any other uh, rirs we are doing here only thing is that system will be always collapsed this is not very hard stone may wonder somebody ask for esw also fine fair enough but uh, when you are doing invasive procedure like pcnl and rirs you should give better stone free rate than esw in obese patient uh, so in that case uh, obesity is the discussion here primary rirs with fans is the discussion here it is possible why why not uh, uh, we we are doing 10 by 12 french amp only thing is 6 by 7.5 scope must go easily and one should have expertise in assessing the ureter whether it goes easily uh, over the thick guide wire in the ureter if it is not going we should not do it either at the uvj or at the puj wherever it, it should not give resistance in fact in this patient it has easily gone and uh, completely powdered see it took hardly 12 minutes for this stone i must tell that this is the most uh, uh, innovative thing uh, where if safely done you see i am not completely aiming powder here i kept that in a calyx calyx is always collapsed that itself shows that uh, pressure will be less see see every every uh, system is not distending now what is my job take out the laser fiber keep the flexible scope can you keep on navigating the access sheet wherever the powder is there and keep coming back if you leave more fragments more more time you have to come out because that will come through the lumen of the sheet if you leave powder it will come by the side of the uh, flexible scope so more powder uh, more better for uh, spontaneous suction see now completely uh, we will suck all the calyces normally what happens this powder will settle in the inferior calyx and middle calyx when you are doing in the upper also most of the time we think that uh, it will pass off or we, uh, we used to do viral pool effect through the access sheet it is same but only thing is here the sheet is uh, uh, here these fragments we are taking out of the calyx by putting the laser that is also one method normally high amount of pressure we have to give to get the fragments out by the inferior calyx instead of that see these all accumulated in the inferior calyx you keep on lazing gently and intermittently you keep on sucking what happens these fragments will come out into the pelvis so slowly these are the fragments uh, pcnl surgeon will always say that there chance of regrowth yes the possibility of regrowth is always there because it's an idus so when you can suck instantaneously in primary case uh, where um, some some people are doing without stent also but we did not uh, venture see at the end of the rirs no intravasation no extravasation all the powder sucked can be sent for analysis obese patient no planning of too much puncture dilatation so definitely in terms of uh, suction plus obesity plus rirs this patient will do better uh, in this way thank you very much